In this problem, we have a distribution function, big F of Y, and we have to answer uh, various questions. Let's go ahead and do part A first. Part A is define the density function. So to find the density function, basically we just differentiate each of these pieces here. So let's go ahead and work through it. So solution, part A, so little f of y is going to be equal to a piecewise function. And let's see, when we differentiate 0, we're going to get 0. And this piece here, we'll come back to this. When we differentiate y over 8, think of it as 1 over 8 times y. So when you differentiate y, you get 1. So we're just left with 1 over 8. And again, we'll come back to this piece and discuss it in a minute. And when you differentiate this piece here, um, you use the power rule. So you bring the 2 down, so you would get 2y over 16, which is really uh, 1 8 y. So this should be 1 8 y. And then the last piece, when you differentiate 1, you'll get 0. So now we just have to think about what happens uh, with all of this stuff. So here, uh, nothing is going to change. We can leave this as y less than or equal to 0. Um, this one didn't have an equal to part, so we'll leave it the same. Sometimes like they both match, and then when you differentiate, they don't match. So you have to like get rid of the equal to part. In this case, though, this had less than or equal to, and uh, this had um, greater than. So uh, they were already not agreeing at a point, so you just leave it. So this will be 0 less than y, less than 2. Same thing here, right? This was a strict inequality and this was weak, so already there was no agreement here between the two, so um, there's, there's no issue there. So 2 less than or equal to y, less than 4. And then same thing here, this is y greater than or equal to 4. So the only thing that really changes here sometimes is like if you had something like, let me, let's say you had y um, less than or equal to 1, and then over here you had 1 less than or equal to y less than 2. You see these both agree at 1. So sometimes when you differentiate, they won't agree anymore. So you have to change them to you know, strict inequalities. That didn't occur in this problem, though, so uh, it wasn't really an issue. So there it is. There's our density function. For the other parts, we actually use uh, what's given in the problem. So let's do part B up here in the top left. So part B, we want the probability that 1 is less than or equal to y, which is less than or equal to 3. This is what I, like to, what, I like to, what I like to call the between probability. So the formula for this, it's always p, and then it's always y less than or equal to 3, minus p y less than or equal to 1. I always think of the normal distribution when I'm doing this. If you think of the normal distribution, it's like, it's like bigger area minus smaller area. So that's how I always memorize it. But it's always right minus left. It's always that. And this, by definition, is equal to big F of 3. That's the definition. Minus big F of 1. And I'd say, whoa, what do you mean? Um, big F of y is equal to the probability that big Y is less than or equal to little y. It's called a distribution function or a cumulative distribution function. So that's the actual definition. And the nice thing is we have it. Like it's given to us in the problem. Otherwise, it'd be much harder. Um, like if they gave us this and we had to find this, that'd be a lot more work. Okay, so f of 3 looks like we're going to use this piece here because 3 is between 2 and 4. So that'll be 9 sixteenths because 3 squared is 9. Minus, and then f of 1, we're going to use this piece here, so minus 1 over 8. So I guess to subtract these, um, we can find a common denominator. Multiply this by 2 over 2. So this is 9 sixteenths minus 2 sixteenths. So that's going to give us 7 sixteenths. Boom, 1 down. So the answer here is 7 sixteenths. That'll be the answer for part B. For part C, it's a little bit different. Let me... Um, I think I can squeeze it in up here, so let me use a different color. So, sorry, part C, rather. So part C, we want the probability that big Y is greater than or equal to 1.5. So using just basic rules of probability, this is 1 minus the probability of the complement. That's the probability that Y is less than 1.5. Now, this is a continuous distribution, so if it bothers you that the formula has an equal to here and it doesn't have one here, you can just put it there. 
You might say, well, what? What do you mean? You can't just put it there. Yes, you can, because the probability of equality is equal to zero in a continuous distribution. So you can just put it there. So the fact it's less than 1.5 is the same as uh, less than or equal to 1.5. They are both uh, exactly uh, the same. So they're both the same. Sorry, my phone just rang. Let me just turn my ringer off. There we go. All right, so this is equal to 1 minus. So here, this is f of 1.5. And that means we're going to use this piece here, right? Because 1.5 is between 0 and 2. So it's 1 minus uh, 1.5 over 8, which you could do by hand, but I have a, a calculator here. So I'm going to put it in my calculator. 1 minus 1.5 divided by 8, and that's a fraction. That's 13 sixteenths. So 13 sixteenths. Um, to do it by hand, what you could do is you could write uh, it as 1 minus 3 halves over 8, and that's 1 minus um, 3 sixteenths, right? And that's going to be 16 sixteenths minus 3 sixteenths, running out of room here, which is 13 sixteenths, so no issue there. All right, part D, I'm going to have to scroll down because I'm running out of room. I just, I wanted to keep big F in the picture, but let's do part D down here. So solution to D. So D requires a formula. Recall if you have the probability of, let's just say, event A given event B, it's equal to, well, here's how I memorize it. You and them, okay, so you and them, and then this piece here goes in the bottom, always, boom, okay. The same is going to apply in this, you know, super fancy problem with all these density and distribution functions. The same basic rule can be used. Check this out. So the probability that Y is greater than or equal to 1, given that, y is less than or equal to 3. So let's use our basic formula from like, you know, back in the day. This is p of y greater than or equal to 1 and y less than or equal to 3. All over p of, right, because that one goes on the bottom, right? Whatever is here goes on the bottom, right? Always, every single time. Now check this out. When you're anding these, if you just think about it, it should make sense. So y is bigger than 1 and it's less than 3. Oh, so if it's bigger than 1 and it's less than 3, that means it's between 1 and 3, right? Bigger than 1 and less than 3. And over here, it's p of y less than or equal to 3. So I think we've worked some of this out. Hoorah, we have right here. 7 sixteenths, that's the top piece. So the top piece here will be uh, 7 sixteenths. The bottom piece is f of 3. So this is 7 sixteenths. And then f of 3, well, oh, you can still see it. Whenever y is between 2 and 4, you use this. So it'll be 3 squared over 16. So 9 sixteenths. So we have 7 sixteenths divided by 9 sixteenths, which is the same thing as 16 over 9, because you multiply by the reciprocal. And that will give us uh, 7 over 9. And that should be the final answer. Kind of a, an interesting problem. I, I like this problem. It's a good example of, um, you know, doing multiple probabilities. Let me fill in the answers here. This was, this was 13 over 16. And the last one here was uh, 7 over 9. The only thing that could have made this problem a little bit better is if we would have had some changing here uh, with the inequalities. Again, if you get agreement here, like if it was... And then, and say this was, uh, I don't know, say this is, uh, say this is, I'm having a hard time here thinking of an example, but uh, say they're, they're, they, they agree at one, and then when you differentiate, you end up getting something different like zero and two, then you got to change these, right? They become, they become strict inequalities, right? So uh, in this case, that didn't happen. You know, we differentiated and um, no, there was no issues. I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.